Alright, so what are we talking about? Episode 27, the sleep tra... <laughs> sleep tracker. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Carpoma. Oh my god, All right. complete complete and total silliness here talking about the sleep tracker. Alright, so Listen, Ray, man. This is all up your alley, man. This is all me, man. Me and my sleep apnea self. So let me just first just say that there are very few products that I can I can say wholeheartedly that I completely and totally appreciate and I I, I love this thing. So it's right now it's on my wrist, as you can see. So the sleep tracker is um, a device that monitors your sleeping habits. Yes. And the great thing about this this particular device is that it's actually a watch. In 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 all its beauty and glory and substance, it is ultimately just a nice digital watch with a fairly nice uh, band, and that's all it really is. Mm -hmm. um, but it goes beyond that, right? It actually actually will sit there. So the, the cool thing about it, so I've been using it now for the past, uh, I think, week, week and a half. And um, right before I go to bed, I, I, I go through the menu and I set the alarm. So, for example, I set the alarm to wake me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, here's the really cool thing, right? So I'm telling it to wake me up at 4 o'clock in the morning, setting a window of 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that window of 20 minutes says, okay, I'm going to wake, so watch this, I'm going to wake Ray up within that 20-minute window. So 20 minutes before 4 o'clock or 20 minutes after 4 o'clock and the watch will decide when is the best time to wake me up. And I think it does that because this, this, there is an accelerometer, I have a hard time saying that word, inside the watch. And it actually noticed, it actually realized when I'm moving around. So I guess if I'm moving around too much, the watch is okay, well Ray, this is a good time for Ray to wake up because he's moving around. I'm not going to wake Ray up when he's in deep sleep. I'm not going to wake Ray up when he's in a light sleep. I'm going to wake Ray up when he's actually moving around. That's what I think. Yeah. There's never, uh, good, by the way, there's never a good time to wake me up. No, there's never a good time to wake <laughs> Ray up. Ray just loves to sleep. But I have sleep apnea, so I have a hard time, hard time falling asleep. Right. Um, and, you know, how to keep track of all your stuff, right? So you keep track of yourself. There's a place called my.sleeptracker.com. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you connect your watch to your to your PC, it uploads the data to an application that sits on your on your PC. That application then loads everything up into the cloud to to my sleep tracker. And from there, you can actually see how you slept that night. Um, the now, now the report is is pretty pretty nice, right? It tells you um, based on your sleeping pattern how well you slept from a score of 100, which is the the best you can possibly get. Um, below 59, which is the worst sleep you can possibly get, and right. you'll know the difference, right? Because when, when I wake up and I sleep below 59, I feel like garbage. That's I mean, I'm just dragging ass all day long. Um, but when I get 75 and above, man, I have so much energy. And normally, I would never ever know at all. But with this thing on, man, you know, it shows you um, your deep sleeps your light sleeps and it shows you when you're waking up right um, and, and, I, and I really really appreciate that um, you can post up to Facebook you can email it to to yourself or to friends or to your doctor which is very important because they have reports that that actually uh, sleep tracker generates and um, yeah man I just you know really really like this thing I know and again for me who has sleep apnea it's always very difficult you know when I go to the doctor, the doctor's like, you know, hey, Ray, you know, you have sleep apnea because, you know, they do a sleep study. Mm -hmm. And um, they say, you know, yeah, you have it. And here's some stuff. Here's a CPAP machine. Go home. Put put this thing on your face. You're like Darth Vader. It's going to blow, you know, air into into your nose. And that'll help you keep your, your, your throat open so it doesn't collapse and you start, you know, choking. Mm -hmm. um, which, which is never good. Which is which is never never good, but in all sincerity, I just never know if and when I'm sleeping well, mm -hmm. um, and this actually provides that information for me. Now, what's interesting it's I found massive. is that it's, uh, you know, you think okay, it's just this watch, it's using it's an accelerometer. How how in the hell accurate can it be? 
So their study showed what? About a 95% accuracy rate as compared to sleep studies. You know, so. I, 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 I don't know if, if that's really truth because let me tell you, right. when I when I've done my sleep studies, I mean it, it's I have wires coming out of my I look like the board. You look like a fringe episode. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have all these wires attached to my face and to other parts of my body, which shall be named nameless. Um, and it's very uncomfortable. You have to go to sleep study. You have to stay overnight, and they purposely make you sleep poorly because they want to actually monitor your your, your worst sleeping pattern. Right. And and that's what they do. But, you know, it just, I just, I mean, I don't know. I, you think I, I invented this thing here, right? I just really, really like it a whole lot. It's, uh, it does a wonderful, wonderful job. So what are some of the cons of the, uh, of the device? Some of the cons, so, so when, when I do sleep poorly, or when anyone sleep, sleeps poorly, on the stats page of that day, it allows you to put in notes of why you slept well, why you slept poorly. You can put in whatever you want. It's all text-based, right? And they also have a bunch of check boxes too, from top to bottom, um, giving you, I guess, the, the the more popular reasons why you didn't sleep well that 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 night. Did someone wake you up? Did you drink alcohol three hours before? Did you work out before? Did you watch TV before you fell asleep? So on and so forth. Um, and at the very bottom, there are no. So I just type in, and, you know, I slept poorly because my son woke me up or because my wife woke me up because the dog woke me up. And I can save that, and that gets saved in the stats for that day. Now, my only problem, though, is that when I go to, and I see the stats um, in total, there is no indication on the day that I put a note in. Uh. So I really wish there was like a little paper clip, a little a little uh, uh, note icon or something letting me know, listen, Ray, on this day, yesterday, for example, or today, you wrote a note in that you didn't sleep well or you wrote a note, period. Um, click on this to see more. So I really wish you would do something like that. I emailed a few reports to myself and never got them. Okay. You know, I sent them to my Gmail account. I don't know if uh, you know Gmail was blocking it or whatever the okay. case might be. I did a search. And I got nothing, so I'm not sure if it's me or or just a service in and of itself. That's because you were on a uh, a 50 or below day. That's yeah. what it was. Today today was was a 54 day. It was wow. a really really bad day. Yeah, my son, my wife, the dog, they all woke me up. So you know, just oh, I don't have the thing on me right now. Um, so so the watch, it so getting the data off the watch is a little weird, right? right. You have like this 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 clamp thing, and I wish I had an army. Yeah, give me one second. It is not a paid show. So, all right. So this is here. It is. So this it's like is like a battery, clamp. you know. Yeah. So recharger. this is the clamp that goes on the phone, and there are these little data contacts, like mm. like like vampire teeth right here, I right? See. There you go. And so this goes on. Let me just take off the watch. And that goes on the watch, right? That's not. That goes on the watch, and if you see it correctly, <laughs> why is that? Is that... <laughs> if you see it correctly, there, there are three little dots or indentations at the back of the of the watch, right? So it has to go on something like this. All right. So that's ah, a little to do. I could see that could be a little hinky. That's a little pain in the butt to do, yeah. um, especially because I'm up at four o'clock in the morning. It's dark, and I'm in the office. And I'm trying to put this thing on, and I can barely see it because it's dark in the office. Um, so that's a pain in the butt. So I really wish there was some some easier way to to plug. And it does plug it, that does make a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense if it's a wired device, because if it's water resistant, to put like a 3.5 jack or something similar, yeah. that would cause an a, a problem with the case but no i i completely yeah. agree with that you know but, but wireless I, it exists you know yeah now i was thinking about that too i was thinking about and what about you know bluetooth connectivity mm -hmm. you know bluetooth i'm not sure how how small we can get the radius nowadays for for bluetooth right. and then it leads to the fact that will it kill the battery even faster right now, until we have bluetooth 3.0 that's really yeah, what so we're talking about i don't know so that's the only reason why i'm thinking it's probably easier to go this route and then put a Bluetooth radio in there where it would kill the battery on this watch or it just might be too big for the actual watch. Right. Um, and then what so, you said, it should do something more as well or? Yeah, so suggestions. You know, I, I, I couldn't help but to see that I wanted more mm. out of the watch. You know, I wanted for it to monitor my activity 
like like it like, has the accelerometer right and I, I wish it would do something like that i wish it would actually vibrate letting me know listen ray you, you, you've been you're, sitting you're on your fat pad. ass right now you gotta move yeah. around get you're up your ass for for you know, five hours you know <laughs> get move around that's, that's the reason why you're fat right um so get off your, your ass and, and move around but you know, I, I don't know if that's what Sleep Tracker wants. I, I think they 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 are um, they do one thing one thing very well and is monitor your sleeping patterns. Um, this might be or the things I've mentioned might be something that's on a a, a, a roadmap right. in the very near future, very far future. I don't know, but it'd be kind of cool. It'd be kind of cool to actually have that all in one into into this one device. I would really appreciate right. that. And, th and that it should tell you, hey, uh, according to the last times when you've been having really crappy sleep for one reason or another, maybe you should go to bed an hour earlier. Yeah, you know, and, and I would appreciate, because here you set the time to sleep. So right. for example, if you, if you cycle through here, you get this, I don't know if you can see right there, it says, you know, time to bed. It's pretty uh, bad, but <laughs> it, says, it says, you know, time for you to go to bed. I mean, you set that, you set the time we want to go to bed. And from that time forward, the device begins to monitor your sleeping patterns, right? It'll be really nice that if, it told you, listen, you set this up to for you to go to sleep at 10 o'clock. It is now, whatever, 9.30. It gives you like a little buzz letting you know, hey, listen, it's 9.30. Maybe you should, start, you should start, you know, wrapping things up to go to sleep. That would be really cool. Yeah. And I really think that that, that might be just a, a, a software change that they do within the watch. Or like, for example, a lot of people say that it really has to do with access to light. So an hour before you want to start to go to bed, start turning down lights or stop watching television. Wow, that's 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 pretty high tech. So, no, yeah, and I agree. Yeah. I mean, there's no reason, you know, if it has Bluetooth connectivity, there's no reason why, you know, let's say you have a, had a home automation system in your house. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why I couldn't come in with that and tell that, listen, start turning lights down right. or whatever. But that that's really high end though, Zeb. I yeah. mean, I, I didn't think about that. But for me, it was just, you know, it's simple things. You know, it's just like, you know, I really wish you told me, listen, it's 930, you know, you said 10 o'clock and go to sleep. It's like a parent, you know, when, when you're like five years old, you know, got to go to bed. Um, so I wish it would do that. Um, but other than that, man, I, I give this thing 4.5. Right, right. It's, it's a 4. solid 4. 4.5 remotes out of five. Mm -hmm. I mean, what an incredible device. And um, it's 149. It comes in either black or white. And you might say, ooh, that's a little expensive. But let me tell you right now, there there is no price you can put on getting an incredible night's sleep right. and being able to say, you know what? Let me go to my.sleepertracker.com and actually see if I slept well or poorly. And then with the great thing about this is that you can then take that data, print it out as, as a report, and bring it to your doctor. Right. And say, listen, man, I'm sleeping horribly. I'm sleeping very, very well. Thanks because I'm wearing the CPAP machine or because... You know, my wife is. Oh, well, I'm sleeping on the couch now, and my wife is isn't with me anymore. Whatever the case is, right? Uh, just really, really powerful stuff, man. It's just I recommend it. Go get it. You know, pay the 149. It, it, if you have problems sleeping, if you wake up in the morning exhausted, tired, or if you just want to know if you're sleeping well or, or poorly, get this thing, man. Just get it. Yeah. So check it out. Let us know. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell us in the crotch bar exactly your experience with it, and. Uh, Check it out and let us know. We'll see you next time. I love you. Sweet dreams. Sleep well. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Only cool people press subscribe. Right here. That thing right there. I, mean, I swear, that's the iconic, you know. I know. It's like Isaac going. Thanks, Isaac. <laughs> oh, good old Isaac the bartender. Hey, Shimei. Flat. Grimbergen. Uh, Grimbergen, I'll, t I'll tell you, man. Those, uh, those damn Belgians. Those, Love them. Those Belgians and their beer. Love them. It's all good. Love the beers. <laughs>